If you thought the title of this video was legit, I feel sorry for you, my friend. Look up the definition of clickbait, because you've been baited. Hey! Hi! How you doing? Hello there! This is the Gamertron, and welcome back to the Gamertron Show! And good day to you, Mahler! I know you're there, I know you're watching, because like a Batman to a bat signal, a YouTube video saying The Last Jedi is a good movie, as well as making any sort of reference to you, I know you'll be there. I admire your dedication, good sir. I also once again want to express my deep appreciation for giving me a small little shout out in your most recent video. It was a lovely surprise Christmas Day present. I can cross you off my personal bucket list of having YouTubers acknowledge my existence. Oh, this parasite that I am is going places. Namely, your Every Frame of Pause EFAP podcast. You see, I've simply been dying to have more in-depth conversations with like-minded individuals. And having a new source to leech new subscribers off of. <laughs> it's nothing personal, kid. It's just business. But hey, I'm up for making it personal if you are. But enough bullshit, let's get to the point. I want on your EFAP podcast, but I don't want to freeload. I want to earn my place. So, my dear Mahler, I present to you this video as my resume, my application. So, let us begin, I hope you all enjoy. Let me share with you my thoughts, feelings, and opinions on Star Wars The Last Jedi. Holy moly cannoli ravioli bitch lasagna. It has been an absolute Pleasure watching the shit show unfold from this movie. Over a year later, and the film is still being talked about. I mean, you gotta give the film that. It certainly left a cultural impact. I know that's not too much of a grand achievement, considering almost anything and everything can make a cultural impact. Like cartoons of talking sponges that wear pants. Fidget spinners. Darude Sandstorm. Oh yes, we're just full of outdated memes today, folks. But what are my thoughts, feelings, and opinions on the film? What are my thoughts, feelings, and opinions on Star Wars in general? It all sucks. Good night, everybody! All right, all right, all right, let's get serious. Okay, maybe a few more jokes, but let's get serious. Seriously. Are you serious? So, like the vast majority of the Western population, I grew up on Star Wars as a kid. Star Wars is just such a fascinating and intriguing and captivating sci-fi fantasy universe. And despite their questionable quality, the prequels only expanded upon that. Like most everyone else, I adore the original Star Wars trilogy. It's just such a classic space opera adventure with such a satisfying hero's journey with our protagonist, Luke Skywalker. The original trilogy of Star Wars films are just such well-made movies. They're timeless, they're classics. It's a tradition with my family like so many others to all get together every one or two years and just re-watch the original Star Wars trilogy, sitting down, relaxing on a couch while eating popcorn. Ah, oh, the nostalgia the classic lines of dialogue, the amazing practical and special effects that still look fantastic even to this day, and that timeless soundtrack. Ah, Star Wars, true movie magic. And then we come to the prequel trilogy. And while they are admittedly, objectively flawed films, quite a bit of the writing and dialogue can be uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. But I will always appreciate the prequel trilogy. I will always be grateful for its existence because if it wasn't for the prequel trilogy, we would have never have gotten Clone Wars. And I adore Clone Wars. Clone Wars is so good. Also, the prequels gave us the character of General Grievous and I love of General Grievous. Oh, he's so cool! I'm a sucker for badass, evil looking villains. Ah, oh, General Grievous is so cool. Your screams are like music to my audio receptors. And then we have the sequel trilogy. Oh, 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 oh. The sequel trilogy makes me the big sad. Such wasted potential. Now, I saw The Force Awakens twice in theaters with different family members, and I enjoyed both viewings. 
I enjoyed the film. At first, I really liked it. It paid such homage to the original trilogy. So much fan service. I couldn't help but appreciate it at the time. But even on my first and second viewings of the film, there was always one or two things that were a bit off. Things that just didn't make sense. Character actions that were a bit bizarre. Very contrived. For example, the lack of the New Republic, Rey running into the forest after her vision, Poe Dameron surviving and reappearing with no explanation? Wait, what? There was some weird stuff. There was stuff that was off about The Force Awakens. But goddammit, I was just swept away in the beautiful visuals, the music, all the homages and references to the original trilogy. So I enjoyed the film on both viewings. I still believe that if you're a fan of the Star Wars franchise, there's something positive, something entertaining some happiness to be garnered from the film. But The Force Awakens is one of those films that the more you think about it, the more you look into it, the more you analyze it, there's just a lot of stuff that doesn't make sense. Characters making irrational decisions, but the only reason they're making these irrational decisions is because the writers and directors wrote them into these awkward, contrived situations. The Force Awakens could have been better. It could have been a lot better. But it's not as bad as something like, let's say, the Michael Bay Transformers movies. Don't get me wrong though, I like the Michael Bay Transformers movies, I enjoy the Michael Bay Transformers movies, but goddamn, they are objectively bad films awful movies. But I'm petty and simple, and the CGI robots look so cool and pretty. I can enjoy bad movies. I can like bad movies. I enjoy and am a fan of a ton of objectively flawed art. Especially when it comes to video games. I'm sure my longtime fans and subscribers are well aware of that. And this has all been building up to, leading up to me finally sharing my thoughts on Star Wars The Last Jedi. To those of you who like the film, who love the film, believe me, I want to too. But I can't. The Last Jedi is a special kind of bad. And please, can we all admit to ourselves that The Last Jedi is an objectively bad film? There's nothing wrong with liking and enjoying objectively bad art. Again, I like and enjoy the Michael Bay Transformers movies. And those are some really bad movies. Awful characters, awful writing. But I can still enjoy those movies. I can still have fun watching them. I can still garner happiness from them. I can't from The Last Jedi. I want to, but I can't. The butchering of Luke Skywalker's character. Leia flying through space. Canto Bite, just all of Canto Bite. The hyperspace kamikaze, oh dear god. My opinion and perspective when it comes to The Last Jedi is that the director, Ryan Johnson. From my point of view, watching the film, I got the impression that Ryan just doesn't give a shit about Star Wars. While The Force Awakens was certainly flawed, you could tell that its director, J.J. Abrams, had a love of Star Wars. He tried to recapture the adventure of the original trilogy. Granted, it was very clumsy and not the most successful way, but looking at all the elements of The Force Awakens, I get the impression that there was a passion for Star Wars. With The Last Jedi, with Ryan Johnson, I couldn't help but gleam a sense of disdain for the brand. And I would use the treatment of Luke Skywalker's character as the ultimate example. He just isn't Luke. Sure, he's being played by Mark Hamill, but Mark Hamill sure as hell ain't playing the same character in this film. Meanwhile, in comparison, look at Han Solo in The Force Awakens. He's still Han Solo. Granted, his character has certainly regressed when you take into account all his character progression in the original trilogy, but at least the representation of Han Solo in The Force Awakens was fateful to a degree. I cannot say the same about Luke Skywalker in The Last Jedi. But you know what? Ryan Johnson's perceived contempt for Star Wars, the handling of Luke Skywalker, that's not even my biggest issue with The Last Jedi. I wouldn't even say that's the greatest objective flaw with The Last Jedi. I would argue that the new character introduced in The Last Jedi, Admiral Holdo, and her contribution to the plot, that being not telling anyone her plan, is just some of the worst writing, some of the worst storytelling I've ever experienced in a film. On my first viewing of Star Wars The Last Jedi in theaters, this was one of, if not the most prominent moment of the film that stood out to me. I kept trying to rationalize it in my mind. Well, why did she do that? Why did that happen? That doesn't make any sense. What was the reason? And there was none. It's just terrible writing. Bad writing. It makes no sense. That whole part of the movie with Holdo felt like something out of an anime. You know how anime at times has these really weird and dumb plot lines and characters that do and say really retarded shit? That's Holdo 
on The Last Jedi. Oh, no wonder I don't like Star Wars The Last Jedi. It reminds me of anime. <laughs> uh, the joke is I hate anime. I'm surprised a lot of the defenders and the people who like The Last Jedi are all right with this part of the film or make excuses for this part of the film. I'm more than willing to hear out and absorb different debates on different parts of the film, contesting their quality, but this is just a part of The Last Jedi that is indefensible. And yet there are some that still defend it. Baffling. Just baffling. And now I think it's time to address the elephant in the room. The dreaded toxicity. From both Star Wars fanboys, the mainstream media, and surprisingly, the director himself. There are some fans of Star Wars that have taken their disdain for the film, just way too far, way too personally, way too emotionally, just absolutely unwarranted hostility. But the same goes for the media. Holy shit, so apparently everybody who doesn't like The Last Jedi is racist and sexist and homophobic? What the fucking shit fuck? While I won't deny that there were certainly left-leaning political undertones in The Last Jedi, I'm still surprised, however, how many on the far left, the more radical left, take criticism of The Last Jedi, take criticism of this movie so fucking personally. The fact that there are people so defensive of this movie that they're willing to call the movie's critics just horrible evil people, like... God damn! Y'all need to take a chill pill, go outside, get laid! People on all sides of the spectrum take video games and movies and entertainment just way too fucking seriously these days, holy shit. I know this isn't obvious a given to any rational thinking folk, but criticism isn't inherently malicious. Granted, there is criticism out there that is wholly irrational and illogical, but that's a case-by-case -case individual basis. This movie, The Last Jedi, has just revealed some of the worst in people, and it's fascinating to watch. Who doesn't enjoy a good social shit? show every now and then. And now we come to the future of Star Wars. Where the hell does this franchise go from here? Well, honestly, I have no fucking clue. With EA Electronic Arts still holding the exclusive rights to future Star Wars video games, and with Disney currently scrambling and in chaos after The Last Jedi working on Episode 9, I'm sure they're trying, mauling over all the possibilities to try and rebuild the brand, rebuild trust, bring back fans. But what happens after Episode 9? More spin-offs? Sequels? Prequels? Remakes? Oh! Oh! A Star Wars original trilogy remake? Oh, the horror! Oh god, please Disney, don't. Please, stick to your live-action remakes of your old cartoon movies. Don't remake Star Wars, don't reboot Star Wars. Please, dear god. Oh, can you imagine a Star Wars original trilogy remake reboot? All the unnecessary shit they would change. The new actors they would bring in to play the classic characters. That's both fun and terrifying to speculate. Ah, <sighs> well then. This has been fun, and with that, Mahler, my glorious objective overlord. I hope with this video I have earned a place on your most prestigious of podcasts. I can only hope. And as for the rest of you, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll leave a comment. I hope you'll leave a like. I hope you'll share the video on social media, Twitter, and Facebook. I hope you'll support me directly by pledging and becoming a patron on my Patreon, or becoming a YouTube channel member. Either way, that's been a video, and I'll see you all later. I can do anything better than you. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Anything you can be, I can be greater. Sooner or later, I'm greater than you. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Yes, I am.